Hello, welcome back to Blender Switch Live. Today I want to show you this uh, little remix project that I was doing uh, the other day. So basically, uh, uh, you can see here, this is like an anime character doing a skating uh, in 3D. And the whole thing, uh, believe it or not, the whole thing is already available for you. I'm using Blender 2.92. And the character, if you, if you know, uh, this is from Freud. From Freud Studio, um, the skater shoes, the one with wing, is actually from Sketchfab. So I just grabbed this from Sketchfab from this user, DPID, and let me close this. And we have this Freud. Uh, we have the English version of Freud. Freud Studio. This is actually like kind of like a character generators that you can use. Uh, you can generate your own character. You can use it in many different apps. I think the one being used is the one inside Unity. Um, if you have Quest VR, but I'm using it with TDPD app um, in basically on my iPhone, and you can see here we can supply a video. We can capture like a real time video and then apply it into the character. So what I did here, so you can see the character. This character have animations, and I already re retargeted into this uh, Freud character and I'm using this video from TikTok this is by Studio Anissa she's an influencer I think she's also really active on Twitter it's doing this skating dance and it's good animation reference because you can you can see the whole body her performance skating and here I'm actually converting it into animations that I can use inside Blender, right? If you use the TDPT app on the iPhone, you can convert this motion, the full body motions into something that you can use inside Blender. All right, so that's basically the whole idea. And in, in Blender, I have this new character and I'm using the shoes. Sorry about the shoes, it's not perfectly rigged into the bone. But yeah, I'm gonna show you. Okay, again, I'm using Blender 2.92 for all the compatibility with Rococo, with all the all the add-on. So I already have the Cats add-on installed. So Cats Blender plugin is something that you can download. This is to import uh, Void. Freud model and there's a whole community actually working with this. It's pretty impressive. But anyway, uh, so I'm using this Freud Studio, right? I'm using the basic preset character. I just make the head a little bit larger. You can use any of the character or make your own character and you just simply export it out so you can use it inside Blender. File, import, VRM. This is using the cats cats add-on plugin I simply bring in model when you bring in bring it into blender it might not look correct so you need to fix it first using the cats add-on so we need to fix the model it's gonna do all kind of magic now we have this character um, now let's see we have can we post this character so by default if you try to post it it's gonna look really weird you, you actually need to uh, you need to activate a, this just click on the, this button once you do that the character actually can be posed properly okay so let's save this very quickly so this is VRM dance so the next thing I will do is to bring in the animations that I converted from the Studio Anissa um, skate animations. So it's gonna come in as BVH. So this is really just like a remixing whatever that's already available online. So we have this animation. This is uh, Anissa doing the skate dance. It's actually in 3D, which is really interesting. It's a 
it's taking the information from from the TikTok video and then converting it into 3D space based on the video camera. Right, so we have this <clears throat> and the next thing we can do using the Rococo, Rococo Studio Live, we can do the re retargeting. So source is this, this motions and this is the animation target armature and then build build the bone list it's gonna try to do it automatically if there is no matching bones you might need to do it manually but you have you just need to do it once and then you just retarget the animations uh, we'll just wait a few seconds yeah now the character is animated of course character is animating uh it's kind of like skating so let's save this the next the next thing we want to do is to bring in the skate uh, shoes it comes in as FBX yeah this a lot of different parts Um, a better idea is to, to do it this way. Okay, file, import FPX. Sometimes dealing with assets can be tricky. So it comes as a lot of objects. Select all by type mesh. Simply join this. This is like a really beautiful design of skating shoes. Right click, set origin to geometry. Now geometry is set to the center. Copy this back to our VRM dance so we're gonna give this boy a skate shoes so it's remixing the shoes 3d assets and the boy character um, if we go to edit mode it's gonna look like that all right we're gonna try to parent it so we can actually uh put this in the red the rest position <clears throat> now we're gonna gonna make the shoes for this boy character could be slightly tricky he already have shoes we can delete the original shoes keep the socks maybe this may be correct I'm gonna create duplicates go to edit mode and then flip flip the mesh mesh mirror in the X global if you do that the normal will be flipped as well be careful okay so you need to flip the normal And now it's correct. Really, it's supposedly just a matter of parenting this to this guy. There, there are many ways you can skin it. I think you're supposed to be skinning it, but I'm just gonna use parenting, I guess, for now. Select these shoes. Select this guy. Control parent. Parent to bone relative. So select the post bone once again. Select this object, the shoes, and select this, and then Command P bone relative. So hopefully our character. Now have the shoes on. So we have Scatter Boy. Interesting, right? So. So remixing 
just a few different assets from what's already available online. Of course, it's not not uncommon. It's actually really uh, quite common to do. Uh, you are referencing a dance or some kind of performance, and you're using it uh, in your animations. If you do this by hands and manually, it takes a long time. But I just did it in a few seconds, uh, which is really really quite interesting <clears throat> so in TikTok there are lots of performance dance and then uh, mostly like full body like dance like this in this case studio Anissa is doing this uh, of course uh, skate animations maybe I should compare it Right. I think this should be in uh, ter set to thirty frames per second. Okay. Nice. Should be correct. Let's try again. It's probably mirror. Yeah, but you can do this. Um, you can try your own performance. I mean, if you if you know how to skate, but m most of the time you need to source a talent that you can do like a dance or uh, like a skating performance. But I think it's gonna be quite interesting for the future of animation project. All right, so hopefully you find this useful and interesting. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.